1913, the Gwynn Building was developed on the northeast corner of Main and 6th Street in Cincinnati, Ohio. The building was under the direction of Alice Gwynn Vanderbilt. Alice was born and raised in Cincinnati, and the building was designed by a well-known architect from Brooklyn, New York, Ernest Flagg. The building is a 13-story storefront structure. The front is 58.6 feet on Main Street and 162.9 feet on 6th Street. Mrs. Vanderbilt gave the building her family name and dedicated it to her father, a prominent Cincinnati lawyer around 1855. In 1837, her grandfather, Major David E. Gwynn, rented space on the site of the Gwynn Building to William Proctor and James Gamble of Proctor & Gamble. Before the building was completed, the Proctor & Gamble Company took a 20-year lease on it, effective from 1914 to 1934. In 1935, the 6th Street Building was sold and Proctor & Gamble were the new owners. They owned and occupied the Gwynn Building between 1935 and 1956. P&G sold the Gwynn Building to A.A. A. Lander, a building contractor, and W. Lynch, president of the Texas Power and Light Company. The Gwynn Building has passed into several out-of-town hands. Some of the owners were Dave Lawrence and Joseph Wolfe, both from New York, of the Western Southern Life Insurance Company. And in 1960, they purchased the Gwynn Building. Also involved in the negotiation was the Glen Meadows apartment off of Seymour Avenue in Bond Hill. Today, the Gwynn still stands and there are new owners. Jack Street Martyr, president of Sound Images. I am Jack Street Martyr, president, creative director of Sound Images and ScreamingBob.com, and we have been in the Gwynn Building uh, since uh, 1984, and uh, uh, ended up uh, becoming managing partner of the Gwynn Building in 1991. Also, Fred Fair, president of Richter and Phillips Company. John Stadler of Comey and Shepherd Realtors. Jay Petak, Vice President of Sound I'm Images. I'm Jay Petak. I'm Vice President, Chief Engineer of Sound Images, and I'm also one of the partners of the Gwynn Building. As far as the most memorable moments, I mean, uh, yeah, there, there are quite a few. Uh, you know, you always remember the, the times you worked with celebrities. For example, in this room, I, I got to record Neil Armstrong, you know, which, which was kind of neat. Uh, you know, uh, we've worked with uh, people like, you know, Sarah McLachlan and CeeLo Green and Ludacris and John Legend. And, and you remember those people, you know, also the, you know, some of the actors like, like Josh Hutcherson and Steve Zahn. You know, those are the, the fun moments. But that, that doesn't mean that, that uh, you know, even I uh, haven't had some very enjoyable moments working with, you know, local and regional talent, which are all great, too, in their own right. The most memorable moment in the Gwynn Building would have been in 1986 when we opened up our studios. Uh, that was a great moment for us because we were sharing studios with other uh, facilities in town and New York and Nashville. And it was a way to tell the world that uh, Cincinnati had a, a, a super uh, studio in, in downtown Cincinnati. Uh, it was a, a great facility, one that could compare it to New York and L.A. So we were very happy to be in the Gwynn Building at that moment. It is neat to have they have, you know, some buildings that, that, you know, are not, you know, just, you know, modern monoliths. I mean, this is a very pretty building. It was built, you know, in, in uh, you know, 1912, 13, 14, in, in that neighborhood. Um, I mean, it's not, it's not like, you know, super old. You know, if you go to some cities like Boston, you see buildings that were built in the 1600s. Uh, but still, it's, it's neat, I think, for any, any city to have, uh, you know, have some of the, the, the wonderful buildings that were, that were around, uh, you know, in some other era. I mean, I've been to cities like Charleston, South Carolina, for example, where they have a very strict uh, building code and, and they, they try to preserve, you know, the, the, the best of the old buildings to, to keep them around. Um, some of the newer modern buildings today, I was surprised to find that, that uh, you only have a lifespan of maybe 30, 40 years and then, you know, the plan is to tear them down and, and build something new. 
Uh, I mean, it's great if you're in construction, but it, it, it does seem like a waste. It, it's, it's neat if you can actually take a building that, that's this age and preserve it and keep it, since it is such a pretty building anyway. You know, this building is a phenomenal building. Architecturally, uh, we were lured to it uh, by just walking by it one day. And, and uh, when we were looking at space in downtown, I think it was important that we found something that was a little bit more creative. Not just walls of glass, but uh, this uh, building has, is just architecturally just phenomenal. A new tenant in the Gwynn building wants something that's creative. Uh, in fact, we uh, promote the Gwynn building as creative space for creative minds. And I think uh, that's the kind of uh, niche business that we try to bring into the Gwynn building.